The process of buying a home is easy for me because I do this all the time. But for buyers, they do this maybe a couple of times in their life, maybe a dozen times if they buy and sell and move a lot. But for the average person, the process of buying a home is a little confusing. This is the first video in our series, What to Expect When Buying a Home, that is going to help you understand the process a little bit so that step-by-step, step, it doesn't feel like you are being inundated with a college education on real estate in the moment. So that way you go into it, you feel empowered because you know what to expect, you know what's coming next. At least it's going to ring a bell. Oh yeah, I watched a video on this. And hopefully it helps make the process a little less confusing and gives you the confidence to move forward toward the end goal of being a homeowner and living the American dream. Hi, my name is Heather Wright. I'm a real estate agent in the greater Des Moines area, currently at Remax Concepts. And when I work with buyers, I have a little home buying timeline that I share with them. And I can get you a clean copy of this. I've obviously just written notes in red pen on which sections I'm going to include in videos for this process, but the entire timeline is going to be covered. This video is step one, which is getting pre-approved. There is no sense in wasting any of your time or my time on shopping for homes online or in person. I mean, it's fun to shop for homes online and you're only wasting your own time. But the thing of it is, is I think you should get pre-approved right up front because then you know your exact buying power. If you're thinking, well, I want to buy a house. I'm sure I can afford $500,000. No problem. And then you fall in love with these amazing homes that have all of these great things and so much space. But then you call the bank and you get pre-approved and they tell you, yes, you are absolutely approved for $200,000. That is a little different than $500,000. And so now you're just going to be sad. You're going to be sad that you can't afford the beautiful homes you've been looking at. You might be a little bit discouraged and maybe it makes the amazing, beautiful property at $200,000 it just sort of makes it look not as nice because in your mind, you've been living in these other homes that were significantly more expensive. So getting pre-approved not only will help you focus where your time and energy should go as far as shopping online, but also a lot of sellers, actually, if you were to ask every seller, most of them would say, if you're not pre-approved, I don't want you in my house because they're going to put forth some effort to pick up after themselves, to have the house cleaned. They've hired a real estate agent, like they're invested in this process of selling the house, but they're probably not interested in having people that can't afford their home in their house. So two birds, one stone, get pre-approved. You're not wasting your time. Sellers who are requiring that pre-approval for showings, everyone wins in that situation. And so then once you're pre-approved for a home, the banker is probably going to tell you, okay, that's it. You're on a spending freeze. And if they forget to tell you, you heard it here, stop spending money, save, 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 save all your money. And definitely do not go buy a new car. Don't go buy new furniture. Don't buy a gigantic sectional that's going to make your home buying process more difficult. Don't buy a king bed. These are the things that sometimes are challenging when first-time buyers moving from big apartments to small houses might have a king-size bed, a gigantic sectional, even big dining room tables that then we have to shop for the house to fit their furniture. If you already have those things, that's great. But if you don't have those things, the reason why I say go on a spending freeze is so that you do not accumulate new debt or reduce your savings, therefore affecting your buying power. So somebody has pre-approved you at this amount and that is dependent on how much debt you have. And it's entirely possible purchasing 
some new furniture or whatever may not actually affect your pre-approval, but it might. And so it's just a good idea to go on a spending freeze time because you're about to become a homeowner and your priorities may change as soon as you find the right house because maybe a sectional will not fit. Maybe you want a sofa and a love seat, or maybe, maybe you need to outfit a theater room in your new amazing basement of your home that you didn't even think about when you bought the sectional. Who knows? The process of getting pre-approved is actually fairly simple. I have some preferred lenders that I like to work with because they're very good at their job and they're even better at solving problems. And that's when an expert is really good to have around when there's a problem that needs to be solved. They may have you fill out an application online or they might just ask you questions on the phone. The whole process should take maybe 15, 20 minutes and they'll be able to tell you, okay, good, you're good to go up to this amount. You're gonna need this much in closing costs. They'll tell you how much to expect to bring to the table for your down payment. And they might even have some special deals where you could maybe get money back from the investor, or maybe there's a grant available. They'll share all of the information on those things, the free money deals that, I mean, who would say no to free money? So that's great. But that's all part of the pre-approval process, getting your financial ducks in a row. So if you're thinking about buying a home in the greater Des Moines area, my team and I would love the opportunity to have a chat with you and see if we're a good fit to help you to the process of becoming a homeowner. You can also shop for homes at DesMoinesHouseHunters.com and stay tuned for our next video on what to expect when buying a home and the actual process of looking at the homes for sale. There's some good things to know there too. I'll talk to you soon.